a call to generous giving. Yes, indeed. We in that time and phase of the year again. It's a time of joyfulness, a time of giving. That's right. We are approaching that festive time. And friends, many of us have started giving and I'm talking even physical giving at this point in time many months ago and I want to take you back to scripture 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and always when it comes to giving and comes to tithing and offerings it's kind of a difficult topic to maneuver around and I, so I prayed and said Holy Spirit give me the wisdom and the revelation so that's exactly what I'm going to do today Friends, if it was not important, Paul would not have written about it in his letter to the Corinthians. So, throughout the New Testament, and even in the Old Testament, giving is part of our worship. But in chapter 8 of 2 Corinthians, Paul talks first about giving ourselves to God. And he says, if God has you then he has everything of you and everything about you so when we come to this time of the year and it's kind of an appropriate time because paul writing in chapter 6 he says i urge you titus who encouraged your giving in the first place to return to you and encourage you to finish this ministry of giving it's very specific the ministry of giving since you excelled in so many ways in your faith your gifted speakers your knowledge your enthusiasm and your love for us that in serving others I want you to also excel in your gracious act of giving so first priority is to give yourself to the Lord let Jesus have all of you let the Father rule supreme and the Holy Spirit supreme in your life Again, complete what you started. God's not going to allow you to give in, in such a manner that you shortchange yourself. And I want you to go and read chapter 8 thoroughly. And you see you give out of the abundance of your heart. Whatever you give is acceptable if you give it eagerly. That's verse 12 of chapter 8. And give according to what you have not according to what you don't have. Friends, I'm reading that directly of verse 12. Of course, I don't mean you giving, your giving rather should be, should make life easy for others and hard for yourselves. There's, these are the guidelines. I only mean that there should be some equality. Amen. Verse 13, verse 14 says, right now you have plenty and can help those who are in need. Later, they will have plenty and can share with you when you are in need. In this way, things will be equal, as the scripture says. Those who gather a lot have nothing left over, but those who gather only a little have enough. Wow, so profound. So I'm imploring you by God's mercies. Friends, give out of the goodness and the abundance of your heart. There are many there out, out there rather that require your giving. Be faithful in your tithing, your offerings, and your giving to the community. God will honor you. God always honors those that give with a merry heart, with a grateful heart. Giving should be a joyful occasion and not an obligation. Father, we come in no other name but of your son, Jesus Christ. And today, Dad, thank you for your word that clears up all the misnomers about giving and tithing, Lord, and what man thinks we should do. We want to think and we want to do what you tell us. Father, let us not be just hearers of the word, but doers of your word. And today, Lord, I call to being generous giving 
indeed to show our love to those that are in need especially in this festive season may we give father unselfishly and bless others show them the love of christ both in our physical giving and in our love to them we failed you so many times lord we want to repent of that and we ask you holy spirit to guide us to sow in fertile ground lord we will not give because there's an obligation we give because we feel the joy of doing so help us now we pray in jesus name amen well friends no matter where you are and which ministry you belong to i'm giving a call to generous giving this festive season and i pray the holy spirit will challenge you in this regard my time's up again so until next time this is pastor henry samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in jesus mighty name stay blessed